Hello everyone, welcome back to Dollar Tree Tactical. Today's video. Now, I was hoping to get a MVG10 vs PVS69 video, but uh, uh, my guy has to finish building the, the PVS69, so shit, I gotta do this instead. Anyway, today we're talking about color filters on the MVG10. Let's get into it. Now, when it comes to the MVG10, I've found that the green setting works better than the white setting because the white is kind of, a good way to put it is too harsh. I know, it, it kind of sucks in full moon, but using blue color filters, it does look like white phosphor, which is actually really nice. It's, it's actually very pleasant and looks super cool because while green looks like green phosphor, and the white was just white. Now it actually looks like white phosphor. Like, this is actually pretty cool. <laughs> so, the way it works is that there are two filters. That's it over the actual screens. Which turns everything it shows blue. It's that simple. Now, on here I have the eye cups, which hold my set of filters in place. But in these next couple of days, I'll probably cat a little holder so you don't have to use the eye cups. Now what you're going to want to use is 32 millimeter microscope color filters, but since I didn't have those on hand, nor did I want to pay for them, I just ripped the blue color filters out of a pair of those mock PBS 15 since they're fucking useless and at least these work. Now, other stuff about the NVG-10, as of I think like a week ago, um, when we hit 300 subs, I will be dropping the V12 thick mounts which, as you can see, stand a little bit higher than the regular ones. Which are a lot lower and skinnier. And this means there's more surface area for that nut that sits inside of it and actually holds a screw in place. Which should counteract the only issue I've ever had with these, which is durability. By after a certain amount of force, that the screw would actually pull the nut out of the top of these mount. And now that sticker, it should counter, yeah, it should uh, contradict that by adding more surface area in between it. Enough bullshit. Time for that good footage. All right, so as you can see right here is the blue filter. This isn't really too good of an example considering there isn't that much moon tonight. And the fact that I have to turn both my exposure and the screen brightness really low. So it's a lot brighter than this. I just have to purposely make it dark so I can actually record this. But as you can see, that's a nice blue. Here's the same thing, but it's actually white now. As you can see, it shows up as pinkish, but trust me, it's like a bright white. And then finally, here's green. As you can see, it's all the exact same thing. It's just that the blue is a lot more comfortable. So I would either run it in white with the blue filters or just green because are, those are both a lot more comfortable than just white anyways i'm your host dollar tree tactical make sure to tune in next week for some more bullshit and make sure to subscribe because like i said once i hit 300 y'all get the v12 thick mounts and you know i think i'll make the nvg10 color filter i think i'll make that 315 since that's really useful. And the same property with blue could also be applied to something like yellow so you could have amber. But anything better than that white is good. Make sure to stay silly and have fun.